Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, joined by Phil Chambers from What Culture for an emergency break glass after news because, well, Phil, this William Regal saga has rolled on for quite a few days here on the news. We yep. reported the other day that he could well be leaving and going back to WWE, and then Dave Meltzer seemed to clarify his position and say, actually, uh, William Regal, I think, is tied down to a three year contract, so he's going nowhere till like 2025 or something like that. And now, Mike Johnson of PW, PW Insider has come through and said that Regal is potentially leaving AEW to return to WWE. Uh, Mike writes that there have been rumblings within WWE of late about Regal returning in a backstage role. And obviously, Phil, that would make sense, first of all, because Triple H is now in charge and Regal is definitely a Triple H guy. Yep. And... With what happened to him, I don't know why I giggled there, I feel awful now. <laughs> with what happened to him on last night's Dynamite with my best friend potentially killing him, yep. let's be honest. Yeah, didn't it look good. <laughs> did look like a right out. We were obviously talking about this, as I said, over the last few days. And the previous Dynamite, it felt like, oh, maybe that's a bit of a write off for Regal because Moxley's, well, invoked the Lion King and told him to run as far as he can. And <laughs> that may be the last we see of Regal on AEW TV. Now, with the stretcher job that he got and the way that is obviously set up, uh, MJF to just be a, well, a supposed heel uh, in some people's eyes. Uh, going forward without Regal, that frees him up. He's also sort of out of the Blackpool Combat Club via his actions. Yep. So he could be going back to WWE. He could. It's an interesting one. Like you say, the roller coaster of is this still happening or is this not happening? Is this three years? Is this like, yeah. what, like six months or something, however long he's been there for? Obviously, he was released in, from WWE in January in the last round of the sort of. Vince McMahon one of the worst Nick releases Khan releasing air yeah. yeah yeah his release made no, absolutely no sense whatsoever like yeah. he's been a great asset to WWE for even absolutely you, years and years and years in those backstage roles. And I'm not suggesting this is what he's going to do when he goes back to WWE, but even if you want to get rid of his role in, in NXT or get rid of any sort of authority yeah. figures, and I'm it's not getting into authority <laughs> figures right now, but even if you say you're never going to see William Regal on TV again in yeah. WWE, which would be dumb in and of itself, <laughs> The wrestling brain he's got! Like, yeah. I got the opportunity to chat to him, and it's just this amazing font of is it font fountain of fountain knowledge. That's what knowledge, I was looking yeah. for. He's he's great to listen to. He could read the phone book to me, to be perfectly yeah. honest. But and in that interview when he was talking to you, he was, he was saying that his favourite thing about the job is when he just turns up to AEW, like early, really early, yeah. and he's just hanging around the ring, and whoever is up there that is available and wants to can just go up and chat to him about wrestling. Yeah. And just having a person like that that is fully open and available to as many people as you can, like the knowledge that you like you say you can gain from that man, uh, and just like put onto so many other people across the roster mm. just having him there like it must have been fantastic for AEW and it's going to be a big loss in that role like just not even counting his on air role which has also been absolutely brilliant so yeah. it makes huge amount of sense that he'd want to that he'd both want to go back to WWE because obviously he's buds with Triple H and he's yeah. had a long and storied relationship there um, but just that WWE would want him back in the first place yeah. as well and no clarification on the whole contract situation here this is very different obviously from yeah. a, a performer you know in ring uh, going back to to WWE, for example, we don't know whether he uh, we, he arrived in AW in like March, yeah, 2022, but we don't know if he had a year contract or as Meltzer seemed to allude to, he has a three year contract. And maybe Tony Khan, because it's not you know Andrade as a perfect example, yeah, he's like, you know what, you know, you've done a great job for me, I appreciate everything you've done, but you want to go back there. And William Regal, I mean, he could convince me to. to Jump, jump off anything, <laughs> exactly, basically. Yeah. So I think maybe it could well be that Tony Khan's gone, you know, we're not going to make a, have a no compete or anything like that. It's a very different situation. Or it could be that he signed with AEW in early 2022 and he'll show up in WWE in early 2023 and this is just the start of yeah. these things. Yeah, you've, there's absolutely no idea. I and mean, anything from us would be wild speculation. He might have had a clause written in there that if WWE ever want him back, he can just get out of his AEW contract Imagine straight that. away. In a you con never know. In a contract. Situation. If Triple H ever takes over WWE, <laughs> yeah. I can go back there. Yeah, of course I'll sign yeah, up. That's whatever. never going to What? Uh-oh. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting one, and wherever he ends up, he's obviously going to be a huge asset to the to the mm. roster there, to the company yeah. in, in total. Um, I look forward to reporting tomorrow morning that uh, William Regal has committed <laughs> to AW for WWE. life or yeah. something. I do also love that the way that he's written off with both the Moxley thing and the Lion King, like run back into the woods, uh, and uh, the MJF thing means that he can still technically be a part of AW TV going forward through yeah. Brian Danielson versus MJF, because yeah. he was the one that ran out to help him at the end of that. And 
Oh. He's obviously going to bring him up a hell of a lot if they do a feud going forward. Yeah. So he's going to be a part of AEW TV without being there, but could also be a part of WWE at the same time. He's the Rick Rude, basically, <laughs> yeah. of uh, of the modern generation. And yeah, and it also makes a lot of sense, as you say, not just because of his relationship with, with NXT and Triple H, but yeah. Charlie Dempsey obviously doing big things on NXT as well. It makes yeah. sense that he may want to go back there. But... That is not the only major return that could be on the cards for WWE, Phil. Indeed. There are two WWE superstars that could be possibly on their way to returns. Um, and they are both on the female side of things. Now, I think you can probably guess which name we're going to talk about for one of them. So I'm going to leave her to the end. Okay. But the first name is one Charlotte Flair. Uh- Oh! <laughs> uh, so she has been on Instagram. Um, she posted a picture of her wearing her wrestling boots, which I will put up here, uh, as you can see. Um, she's been away from WWE since May, mm-hmm. same month as Sasha Banks, funnily enough. Uh, but she went out after she faced Ronda Rousey at uh, WrestleMania Backlash, and then she got married to Andrade. Ronda Rousey's last good match. Yeah, probably. Quite possibly. Um, and then she got married and has had some like personal time off and things. But she looks good. like she is ready to return, um, which would be a big boost to that division, uh, obviously. Yes. Um, and then Sasha Banks is, of course, the other one. We've been speculating. About Hallelujah! Sasha Banks returned for goddamn ages now. Uh, and she has been poking the fires of speculation on social media a lot as well. And her most recent one is a TikTok video that she's put up uh, with a bunch of photos like a montage kind of thing of her training over in Mexico. I saw this, yes. Yeah. Um, obviously, she put that up on TikTok, which is the famously Karrion Cross-owned uh, social media <laughs> platform. Um, and uh, she did have some really interesting hashtags on the video, though, which was a weird one. It's probably just Sasha Banks, like, just having a bit of fun with the Go internet. On. But she had hashtag WWE, mm-hmm. hashtag AEW, right. hashtag Lucha Libra, right. and hashtag Joshi uh, Puroresu. Right, what? Pick well, one. You've got to pick one. Be going anywhere. You just, if this isn't me promoting a podcast, you got to just push all of the things and say, oh, I hope someone clicks on that. Yeah. Early in November, she was teasing about a return as well um, on an Instagram things, And there was also a comment on this TikTok video that said, we miss you. And a reply to that uh, where just Sasha Banks just saying, I'm here. So. I'm. Um- Jazzed, man. Like, I'm really excited. Not just for Sasha, but for Charlotte. I should say that yes, as well, because I think absolutely. I've been guilty of going, oh, bloody hell, Charlotte. And then I remember a few years back, there was that real moment of clar- like clarity for me where I was like, oh, wait, everyone's had their best match with Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should put a little bit more respect on her name. I think it was appropriate that she went away for a while, if I'm perfectly honest. Yes. But... I'm glad that she's coming back. Intriguing is to see uh, how they bring her back. Sasha That's the thing with has Charlotte. to be a face, doesn't she? Sasha kind of has to be a face. Um, but, I mean, Sasha, you could dump in pretty much anywhere within that division and she'll fit right in. I think she'll Charlotte... Back in NXT and she'd look mint. Yeah. Charlotte, I think, probably needs to be kept out of the title picture for a while because yes. I think that's the one big problem that everyone has had with all of the Charlotte Flair comebacks is she's immediately dumped straight back into the title picture uh, and then obviously takes over because she's obviously a huge, incredibly talented star. Yeah. Um, Don't have her win the Rumble. <laughs> Don't have her go yes. for a title straight so away. So use her in a bit of a mid-card position for a while yeah. until it feels natural for her to go to back up to the title. And I um, think there's people who could benefit from working with Charlotte oh as well. God, yeah. Across Hell the board. Yeah. Lots of new talent on that roster that could do with her. It's really fun. Like, the women's Alicia. division, yeah, I, you know, Triple H has, has quite rightly received a lot of praise from taking over in WWE. Um, and he's brought a lot of people back and, and, and got the reaction that you'd expect for that as well. And obviously this is going to help those matters. But I think uh, uh, what I'm most excited about now in terms of the women's division going forward is the fact we've got so much potential for lots of feuds and matches that aren't centred around the world title. Yes. I think you and I would probably sit here right now and say, if you're going to book WrestleMania tomorrow, it's Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. Maybe even Rhea actually wins the Rumble rather than Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. And then you're like, right, but you've also got Bailey, and you've got Asuka, and you've got Dakota Kai, and you've got, you know, yeah, the, the whole sp- there. Yeah, you've got Liv Morgan, Liv Morgan. on SmackDown, you've got Alexa like, Bliss with the Bray Wyatt teases exactly. or whatever it is. Yeah, so you've got all that, and uh, yeah, I think um, your issue recently has just been like, oh, okay, and especially on SmackDown, you're like, right, so Shane is with. Uh, with um, Ronda so you can't really do that as a title match although yeah. I'd do that probably on the road oh, to WrestleMania yeah. but still um, and I like her as, her as Ronda's heavy right now Yeah. and beyond that like when they had that that what was it five woman or six woman match of like who's going to face Ronda at, uh, at War Games and you're like 
I mean, it could be anyone because it's just like <laughs> Raquel Rodriguez could have a great match with with, with Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, Shotzi could really benefit from working with someone like Charlotte as well. Aaliyah obviously is still there. It, yeah. You know. Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans. Don't Lacey Evans. Re, don't go back to the future you were gonna do with Lacey Evans, yeah, by the way. That's a different thing. You but, got the ultimate baby face underdog character in Candice LeRae that would be oh, a great foil for Charlotte Flair. Oh, so many names, There's yeah. So many, it's so really much exciting. there. It's new and puts a shine on that division without needing a title. God, I can't wait for Sasha to come back though. I know, God, it's been too long. I love Sasha Banks so much. She's so good. And he's right. So, so good. One of the best wrestlers. Not one of the yep. best female wrestlers, just one Absolutely. of the best wrestlers. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, yeah, considering what happened, hell of a get for WWE, if that makes sense. They, she was always yes. WWE. Yeah, but if she is going back there. Of all the ones that could make, could move over to AEW and make a goddamn huge impact over there, it's Sasha Banks. Mm. And yeah, if they manage to drag her back in, um, then yeah, well done WWE, yes. and the right move, the absolute right move. Well, let us know uh, your thoughts on Sasha, Charlotte, and this guy, okay. William Regal, potentially returning to WWE and the matches you'd like to see them in. Maybe less so Regal, but Charlotte and, and Sasha, have it have it out in the comments, I'm sure you will. Uh, like, share, subscribe, subscribe to What Culture Wrestling, wherever you get your podcasts from, for daily wrestling podcasts, of course. You can check out our Dynamite review right now, and we've been answering your wrestling questions this afternoon too. Thoughts, Twitter questions, all that good stuff, on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE. Well, actually, there, follow both of us. You can follow Phil Chambers at... Phil My Chambers, and you can follow Adam at... Adam Wilborn. Follow us all at WhatCultureWWE. But for now, my thanks to Phil Chambers. This has been the After News, and we will see you soon.